a gift to make up for all the aggravation I caused earlier. Oh, no crap. Why, thank you, son. It's nice to know that my lovable kind of guy demeanor is appreciated by the younger generation. Thank you. No crap. That is the item I use on him? I didn't think. That was it. Alright, progress. I love success. It can transform a mediocre day into a golden edge memory to pass on to subsequent generations. I couldn't put it any better myself. Success. I will pass this down to the younger generations. It's so badly made, I don't have a clue who it is. Possibly Michael Jackson. Maybe in the future. Nah, I might drop it in. Bust it. <laughs> Get it? Bust. <laughs> I already made that corny joke. Ha! Oh, wait. What do I do with this tacky thing? I, I, I just implied that I won, but somehow I still feel that I lost. Oh well. So much for my future as a comedian. At least I still have my day job at Costco. Yes, I hand out samples at Costco. Not the greatest job, but hopefully I'll move on to something better soon. He's a geeky computer dude. I don't even want to say dude, he's less than a dude. He has a dirty ID badge on his oh-so-clean shirt, but I can't make out what it says. I just don't think that- Hello there, excuse me for interrupting everything. Who are you? What's it to you? Go away, I'm working, and I'm far too superior to waste time talking to you, got it? Oh, really? Well then, what are you working on? What does it look like? I'm fixing this computer. What of it? No, nothing. I also do freelance computer repairs to make some money. I used to work for the Geek Squad at Best Buy. It actually sucked a lot. You're not much help, are you? That's not my job. Now leave me alone. But, you know, they pay those guys like $10 an hour. I earn $11 an hour handing out samples. And that's a lot easier work. And you know, when I do a freelance computer repair, I make like, what, 30 bucks or 50 bucks, you know, installing windows or things like that. It's like, I make a lot more I never doing it on my own. Type, but I don't see the point in learning right now, so forget it. I mean, they really screw over those Geek Squad guys. I mean, for geeks, they don't really have good math skills or not very smart, because they could think about how much they're earning. and I'll go into Just all that later. Open. But it's like, I install a piece of software, and it, I install it for, I charge them $50 to install the software at the Geek Squad, and then the software costs $50, so to get a, a, just a normal piece of software installed, it's like $100. Get away from me, or I'll call a norm. You want the shirt off my back or something? Scram! Sure, I'll take the shirt off your back. I never learned to type, and I don't see the point in learning right now. So forget it. But, yeah. Geek Squad guys suck. Sorry, if you're on the Geek Squad, I don't think you're very smart. You should go do work on computers on your own. Someone is not very green-thumbed around here. Plants should be there to inspire and motivate the workforce. Oh no! Do I dare touch it? Ah! Rage against the machine! I didn't touch it! I swear! I swear I didn't touch it! Oh, I'm sorry, oh great machine. Please don't suck me in and fax me to oblivion. Oh no, thanks. It might bite. It looks positively user hostile. That's a crazy coffee maker. It's very ominous, but I'm sure it's just a coffee machine. Why do they always make them look so damn scary? Because this world's crazy. No way! No way! Just no way am I touching one of those coffee machines again. You remember what happened to me the last time. Ouch, babe. I'd rather not. What? From here? What? From here? Oh, yeah. Right. What? I'm From getting closer. Here? Oh, what? From here? Oh, I just, oh, can't, just yeah. can't. Right. I bet there's some juicy information in here. 
Maybe I can find the phone number of that gorgeous babe here. Oh, yeah. She's styling. She's all right. There's better. She looks very boring and totally unfriendly. Plus, she's not even cute. Yes, yeah, so he wasn't talking about her. He was talking about the person in the dumpster. Beat it, child. I'm far too important to talk to you. Alrighty then. Nah. Hey, get away from me or I don't want it. Right, bud? Boro Rama. Reminds me of school. Alright, now they gave us a hint and they mentioned his clean shirt. Can we do it with doggy do? Oh, that's even better. Hey, what do you think you're doing, bozo? I think you can also use the dirt. You dirtied it, you clean it. Oh yeah, and he also says, do you want my shirt off my back? And yes, we do want the shirt off his back, apparently. I never learned to type, and I don't see the point in learning right now. So forget it. There's no fire here. There's no fire here. I don't want it's a fire door. And probably alarmed, so I won't touch it. As I thought. I don't need no plastic plants. Well, it's certainly large. I guess they're trying to impress me. But it's hardly working. <laughs> Well, you can definitely choose whether or not you're impressed. Doesn't really make much of a difference, though. But... Talk to the secretary first. Whoa. Showing. She looks nice. Excuse me. Can I help you? I've been told to bring you this video. I see. <laughs> well, it's nothing to do with me. But this is a TV station, is it not? Yes, but you need to take it to the studio. Oh, right then. So, uh, sorry to trouble you. Excuse me, by the way. Can I ask you if you want to go out when this game is over? My boyfriend won't like that. Well, I'd forget about him. I'd be a whole heck of a lot more fun. That's the spirit. Uh, my seven-foot-tall bodybuilding boyfriend won't agree. You know, you've got a good point there. You're probably right. Never mind. When the game's over. He's breaking the fourth rule. You're not supposed to know you're in a game. Can I speak with Mr. Johnson, please? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Yes. But I do have a very important video. Or Wait no. a minute. A Mr. Johnson, sir? Yeah? There's a man to see you, sir. Send him over. You can see him now. You're the greatest. Yes. And thank you so much for your help. That's what I'm here for. Isn't that a secretary usually in a different room? Oh, well. I think he's the boss. He looks like one. I just don't Always think gotta that check. would go down well at all. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. I don't want to take up much of your time, but... What do you want? I'm extremely busy right now. Speak up. Don't take all day. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, you see, Mr. Sir Man, I have this video that I've been told that has to be played today. What is it? Who sent you? Uh, well, I, I don't know what's on it. The orders came from... <clears throat> Mr. Nistelux himself. Ah, right. Well, I'm too busy right now. Take it to the studio. Here, you'll need this card. Well, thank you so much. He's rather gullible. Be gone with you. I'm very busy. I mean, wouldn't Nist Nistelux send a norm trooper? Oh, well. A poodle wearing blue sunglasses. That's freaky. Yeah, it kind of is. Oh, well. Gullibility is good. It's a fire door, and probably Another one. alarmed, so I won't touch it. It won't budge. I suppose I really do need an ID. Open says, uh, me. Oh, there's some real cool stuff here. Whoa, I could make some great home movies with it. I just wouldn't know what to do with all. Sure, I'll just stuff all this in my pockets. Then everybody can ask me, is that stuff in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? What if it's alarmed? It's not. Well, there's a tape locked inside. It just doesn't want to open. 
Sure. I'll just stuff... Oh, there's some real cool stuff here. Whoa. I could make some great home movies with this, John. It won't budge. I suppose I really do need... That's funny. The door still won't open. I wonder what's behind it and how I can get in. Open says, uh, me. Apparently this is as far I go on, as far as I go on this plank. These security doors are extra special. Nothing mean, I can do with them. That's funny. Or wait. The door's still gross, grody, maxed out. I'll toss it and keep it back. All right. I don't think I could. It's got the owner's photo on it. 